everybody, today I decided to do a makeup look. Now, normally when I film a makeup look, I'll wait for my skin to look semi-okay. We all know I have problematic skin at the best of times, but when I feel like I'm having a good skin day is usually the day I will decide to sit down and do a makeup video. So when I looked in the mirror this morning and realized that today was not my lucky day and my skin had blessed me with its lovely problematic ways, I didn't want to film the video. And then I had a little sit down with myself and I thought, no, I am gonna film the video because A, so many people have problematic skin, whether that is acne or a reaction or a hormonal breakout. There are so many people across the world who will be watching this, who will be having similar issues to me. And I don't generally get very self-conscious about my skin because I'm aware that lots of other people have skin issues too, but I felt particularly self-conscious today and I wasn't gonna do it. And then I thought I am gonna do it because this is what I would do in order to cover up my skin today. Like this is me doing my makeup on a problematic skin day. So this is the look I have done today. I really hope you guys enjoy the video. So the first thing I am going to do in my big ba bug bag of trucks, in my big bag of tricks, is put on a little bit of the Elizabeth Arden eight hour cream. I have quite dry lips at the moment, so this is the only thing that sorts that out, basically. The taste and the smell of this always reminds me of going on holiday because I always put this on on the plane. Since I've already washed, prepped, primed, moisturized, etc., etc., my skin, it is time to start with my foundation. The foundation that I like to wear when I'm having a bit of a troubled skin day or week or month um, is this, which is the Kat Von D Lock It Foundation. This is 24 hour wear, full coverage, transfer resistant matte finish. I've tried the classic Estee Lauder Double Wear, but I personally don't get on with it as much as I know so many other people do. So once I've tried this, this was a complete lifesaver for me because I feel like the coverage of this is insane. It's just what you need on days where you're not feeling as like skin confident. And I am using a Real Techniques stippling brush to apply that. I think this foundation is a smidgen on the light side for me, as you can see. I mean, it matches my neck to be fair, um, but I generally like to be a little darker on the face. So I am gonna bronze it up, don't worry. As you can see, that's one pump. I've still got so much on my hand. That was like half a pump of that foundation. It's really great. I'm gonna just put a tiny bit more on like the areas where I think I need it a bit more. <laughs> Next, I have a selection of concealers. I haven't actually decided which ones I'm gonna use yet. I have two more of the Kat Von D concealers. I also have the Urban Decay Naked Concealer, which is great. It's really like full coverage, perfect for kind of more spotty days. And also this for under my eyes. And I'm not gonna lie, I have something, I have something in my eye right now. <laughs> I feel like these might be slightly too light, but let's try this one. I'm just gonna put a little bit of it on the back of my hand. Yeah, that's quite light. And then using this, which is one of my all time favorite Real Techniques brushes, this is the setting brush. Don't use it for setting, I use it for concealer. Rebel, and I'm just gonna dip that on the concealer. When I have some like problem areas, I like to put concealer on the back of my hand because I feel like dipping it on your face and then putting it back in the um, tube is probably not the best for your skin. So I make sure I have as clean brushes as possible, this one was fully clean, that my makeup's as clean as possible, that my skin is as clean as possible, that my hands are as clean as possible, and that you're not putting products straight from the tube onto your face. Um, it does make a lot of difference. Also changing your pillowcases. So I'm just gonna pop this on some areas like around my nose. Okay, I'm gonna just put a tiny bit more on the back of my hand and I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of the Urban Decay Naked Concealer because that's slightly darker in shade. And then blend them on my chin. 
My chin is always my main problem area. Basically, my chin hates me and I hate it. <laughs> okay, I'm happy with that. I'm just gonna do a tiny bit more. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to pop this Bobbi Brown corrector under my eyes and I feel like it's fine to do this if it's under your eyes. That's not where my spots are, so. Just gonna dab that under here. My makeup artist uses this on me at shoots and every time she uses it, I'm like, ah, I need to order that. So I ordered it. It's really great. Now I'm gonna do a little bit of lasting perfection concealer. I do definitely feel like when my skin is a bit more problematic, I take a bit more time to make sure the base is perfect before doing anything else on top. Because you can't build a house without the foundations. And you can't do your makeup without a good foundation. Okay, well, I'm well and truly concealed. Conceal, don't feel. I am using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Micro Finishing Loose Powder. I don't want too much of this because I feel like when my skin's like this, I like to feel kind of dewy, you know? Whoa. Whoa, it's like going everywhere. This is the Real Techniques Point XXXL. Sort of X's. It's the softest brush I have ever felt, and I love it. I feel like the most important areas are the ones where you know your makeup's gonna come off first. So for me again, it's my trusty chin. <laughs> me and my chin need to learn how to get along, I think. Cause this ain't working. There we go. Okay, so we're powdered. Next thing I tend to do is my contour. So this is my favorite Anastasia Beverly Hills contour palette. And the one I like to use is this one in the middle. It's kind of like a good in-between shade from the other two. And I'm gonna use this brush, which is a Sigma Soft Blend Concealer Brush, which I'm gonna use for contour. <laughs> what would you do if I just left it like that? And then you're good. I like this look. Then you want to blend it. Because <laughs> as much as we love a chiseled cheekbone, it's much better blended than not blended. Now I'm going to do a bit of bronzer. I'm going to use this one, which is the Marc Jacobs. I always forget what it's called. Marc Jacobs Tantric 102, which is like my favorite matte bronzer right now. Still love it. And I'm gonna swirl my big XXL brush in it. Give it a bit of a shake, cause there's a lot of product on there. And then I'm just gonna sweep it. What did I decide for blusher? Oh yes, I'm gonna use this, which is the Hourglass incandescent Electra lighting blush. And I am using my Charlotte Tilbury powder and sculpt brush. I'm just gonna pop a bit of that on there. Give it a little tap off. And just pop some of that on the apples of my cheeks and bring it up. Now, because this already sort of has highlight in it, I don't feel like I need to do much more with the highlight, but I am gonna just add a tiny bit because this highlight's really beautiful and it is the Becca Moonstone highlight. No, this is opal. And I'm gonna pop a little bit of that in there. Tap it off. Oh, look at that.
If you're a little bit scared of putting highlighter over any spots you've covered or like bumps or anything because sometimes the highlighter can like accentuate it then I would just skip that part if I was you. I was for certain, for certain, I certainly wouldn't be putting highlight on my chin which is where my problem area tends to be anyway so my cheeks for me are fine to put highlight onto but I know that some people can get a bit scared of highlight. Um, when it's over bumps that they've got because it does sort of accentuate it but do you know what i just think highlights pretty nonetheless what else do i need to do here i wanted to keep my eyes fairly simple so i'm going to use the charlotte tilbury uh color chameleon bronzed garnet pencil i love these pencils so much if you want to do very quick easy eyes you need these pencils they are fab so I'm just going to draw that on my eyelid and it doesn't matter if it looks terrifying now because it will look fine when you blended it. Wow. And I'm going to just do a tiny bit underneath. Can you actually imagine if I left it like this? 217 brush. I am now going to blend this a lot. Now I'm gonna do my eyebrows because I always feel like your eyes look crazy without having done your brows and your brows look crazy without having done your eyes. So I'm gonna do it halfway before being finished with my eyes. Um, I'm using the New Look Shape and Define Kit, which actually comes with tiny tweezers and a tiny little brow comb, which is quite cute. And I'm also using my MAC 266 angled brush and I'm gonna just dip a little bit in all of them. This is actually a wax, so I might do the powder first and then do a bit of wax on top, but my brow colour is somewhere between these two, so I just kind of dip it in both. And then I'm just lightly filling in any of the really like obvious brow gaps that I have. Because even though I've been trying to grow my brows for like two years now, they always like to grow down here, but never where I need them to grow. But isn't that just the eyebrow way? One brow done, one brow not done. Okay, there we go. And then I have this really cute little Delilah brow shape defining brow gel, which I just want to run through. just so they stay in the right place. Back to my eyes, okay. I'm just gonna add a little bit of definition to the overall like shadowing. So I'm just gonna put a slightly lighter color in the inner corner. And that color is going to be this one, which is called Vermeer. It's like a very light kind of pinky color. And where's my brush gone? Gonna just use the same brush and I'm just gonna blend a tiny bit of that just to give a bit of light to the inner corner. Wowza, that actually does make a huge difference. And I'm gonna just use this dark brown matte shade just to blend in the crease. And there we go. Now I'm gonna do my that was my stomach. Now I'm gonna do my liquid liner. This is the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Liner. I love it. I always start this in the middle and go out. Done. This one's always so much harder and I can't talk while I do it. Okay, we've got one going up higher than the other, but I don't care <laughs> because I ain't doing that again. <laughs> Mascara time is like my favorite time. I am using my fave, uh, Maybelline Lash Sensational because I love it. Look at the difference. It's crazy. There we go. 
mascara all done and I'm just gonna put a little bit of that on my bottom lashes as well. There we go. And now all that's left is to do a lip. Now I am toying up whether or not to go for the Kylie Jenner Velvet Liquid Lipstick in the color Charm or my Stila Liquid Lipstick in the color Angelo. Admittedly, they're both exactly the same, but I still can't decide. Let's go for a Kylie Jenner, shall we? Hmm, no, that's too orangey. Not feeling that. Okay, because I changed my mind, I'm now gonna put this on top, which is Aquarius 2, which I have to say is not so dissimilar, but less like peachy pinky, I think. This is the lip colour I have been obsessed with. Mm. I was going to do a gloss, but I actually don't think I want to do a gloss. I think I'm happy with it just like this. So, take my funny little hair bobble out. Sort my hair out. So there you go. That is the finished look. This is my makeup when I'm having a problem skin day. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Even if it just reassured you that you're not the only one who will have bad skin days. And when they strike, this is how I deal with it. And I will see you again very, very soon. Bye.